uppercut, uppercut, sonic boom! Well, hello there, humans of these earthlings, whoever you are, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, and whoever you're lucky enough indeed to be doing it too. Yes, that's right, that is a dude lying down in the grass on the Asia server, not moving, waiting for me to roll out so he can thump me, because we are sweaty as hell over here on the Asia server. A lot of people say, why do you play the Asia server? Look, you've got over 100 ping, and that's because that's literally the best ping I get on PUBG Mobile. This is my home turf, and let's talk about pistol-only training mode. Now, the reason I want to make this video, I'm going to show you a gameplay where I'm using a deagle for the most part, and then I'm going to show you a game where I take the very next game, exactly the next game, uh, basically, of this one, where I take the things that I'm doing in this gameplay and put them into action and you can see how I... Anyway, watch on and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now we start off this pistol only with a P92 um, and that bloke over there doesn't have a whole lot of anything but we've got to get some headshots. Very t Oh, he's down to the uh, down to the old shoddy, the over-under because we are obviously on a hot drop and then we start looking for love. The Deagle is a great training weapon because it's slow to fire. So it has to hit headshots to actually do anything. If you're firing the Deagle into the chest, it'll still do big damage numbers, especially for a pistol, but it doesn't have the same kind of speed that a Colt 1911 has. I actually prefer the Colt 1911 as a uh, pistol only weapon, but it doesn't, it doesn't really, Look, the thing about the Deagle is if you don't hit headshots, you die, okay? And you're going to see that throughout this gameplay, that it's all about the headshots. It does 86.38 into a level 1 helmet, 123 damage into a no helmet wearing target, uh, 74 into a level 2 helmet, and 55 into a level 3 helmet. That's a lot of damage. And as we push across the end bit of military base here, you're going to see that I take on two very tight close quarters engagements and they are all about hitting headshots. The other thing about the Deagle is because it's such a slow firing gun, you really only get one shot at range before they realize that, hey, someone's shooting at me and then you've got to set it up again. Uh, and to that end, if you want to get shots off, you want to make sure that your first shot is a very strong shot. Uh, and you can see I'm getting pushed here all over the place. It's not the most accurate weapon in the game. You've got an ADS a lot, which in TPP isn't particularly fantastic. And you've really got to know what you're up to in terms of strats. I'm trying to dodge these two guys. Uh, and all the time, I'm getting hit from the left. Someone's shooting at me from the left. Here he comes. Headshot. Headshot. You've got to really do it up close and personal, and this other bloke's going to chase me down. And uh, I think he's running a Mini 14 now, maybe. Everyone's kind of on the edges of what they can uh, can handle here in terms of... Oh, 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 that hurt. That hurt an awful lot. And we're going to hit a lovely set of headshots here. Bang, bang. And uh, there we go. We clear. So the headshot's what you've got to be doing. And that's a training aid. That's a really good way to train. Like, if you can't hit a headshot... Uh, with a deagle, you're going to die. So it's a great way to challenge yourself and actually work the game. You're going to see a little bit of a... Uh, I'm firing there before I can even see the vehicle, right? Because what I want is this guy to actually stop so I can engage him. And he does so. Excellent. So now we've got to set up the whole kill shot. Now I'm going to fast forward this. Watch how I go all the way over here. Way, 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 way out of the line of sight all the way around the top of the map and set up a kill shot on the guy who is still looking back where I was before. And I'm just admiring how nice it looks with the deagle and the laser sight and all that. That'll probably be the thumbnail <laughs> right there. Uh, and we head down the hill and we're now looking for this bloke who was in the red car. And because we've got to get all the way to this guy before we can actually get him in our sights, and the first shot has to be a headshot, and it is. And we get a body shot and a headshot. Now, I know he's got to be low, so I'm willing to risk. There he goes. He takes a big shot at me, and we just tap him out with another limb shot. Did you see how long that took to set up? Watch this. This is interesting. Immediately following this game, I went and played this game. And there's a guy over there who's been absolutely nutting everyone from the top of Rojok with an M24. Like, he was absolutely destroying everyone. And he's about to make me a very unhappy man with his M24, okay? I can't really win that contest. Like, I can peek and he's going to hit me. And then he only has to pull back, whereas I've got to uh, 
get multiple shots on target. Remember what I did at mill base. I am now leaving that guy's line of sight and I am bolting all the way around the flank. I'm leaving him alone. I know he's a good player. He's been nailing everyone with headshots. I'm like, well, he's not doing that by accident. He's got lots of fancy clothes. He's very bright. He had a good skin on the car that he was driving around in earlier. So I go all the way around the map. I'm looking at the zone and I'm going to set up the kill shot just like I did at mill base. And this is the training day element of running a pistol only round. You do it for the content because it looks fun and it looks cool and everyone enjoys seeing someone getting wrecked with only a deagle. But at the same time, um, there is a real practical element to it. You, you play the game exactly like that with good flanks and redeployments and changing your angles. And suddenly you'll see this guy as he comes up. He's looking at the house I was in. He's been camping me out on the edge of the zone line. And I'm going to let the blue come right past get all my adrenalines going and everything like that because I know this guy has to come through and then I pull out and there he is. He's running around the back there. I'm waiting, waiting, waiting and you're going to see him come out on the road in just a second on the left of screen here and he is looking straight down at the house where I was before. All that effort, right? But we cleared a guy who was doing really well in the game and we set us up for a, a nice chicken dinner. Let's go back to our deagle only round now. Again, there's a bloke down there who's just cleared what I suspect is a bot. Now I've got an AWM, but I've got no ammo in it because we're playing pistol only. And I like to do this where I'll see the guy go click, 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 click. Yeah, you're dead. You're absolutely dead. So covered you off already. Now let's go get the actual kill. So what we're gonna do is go down there and set up the shot. Now I know that a bot has just turned up down there. I can see the bot tapping away and he is killing that bot with an M416, right? Full auto fire. So I know there's a bot who's just dropped a box. I don't have a lot of opportunities here. So I'm gonna set this shot up uh, when he goes to loot the box. And I'm gonna make sure that the first shot's a headshot and then take it from there. But that is all about setting up the kill. And this is a great thing. So here we go. He's checking out his stuff, headshot, body shot, body shot. Level three helmet, dusted, thanks very much. Off we go, next player please. This bloke is further up the top and like, he just won't come out. This is the problem because he doesn't know that I've only got a deagle. He's thinking, what else is he gonna do? So I end up just having to grin him, which I feel bad about because that's not really, but if they get really sweaty at this point, I'm like, I'm not even going to bother. You know, if if this is your whole mode of play where I'm using a deagle and you won't come out, I'm happy for you to eat a grenade, even if you are another Australian. Bad luck, buddy. So we get towards the final circle, and I can see as I'm running in that there is another player here. Uh, he's just down on my right. There he is right now. So I'm going to go park up on the top of the hill with my UAS, and there's another guy down the bottom of the hill here. I did the whole thing where I click on his head with an AWM, but I just don't have the kind of range to get involved with. And then I'm gonna put a smoke up to my left because this is where the guy that I just saw running in is and keep the car between me and the guy that was on the right. Obviously, I've got a, a, a frag out there as well. Um, very happy days. Uh, waiting to see if anyone turns up. He's still not popped. He's not pushing me. That's cool. So I'm going to put a smoke out there just in case he is snaking over the top of the mountain. We've only got eight kills, but they've all been um, real people, which is nice. Um, apart from the first bloke who was a bot, so I didn't even include him in the thing. And that bloke then takes out the uh, last man standing, the bloke that was on my left. The guy with the orm down the bottom of the hill does that. There he is coming in. Get a nice shot on him, but not enough. And now I know where that last bloke is. I'm going to put the busted up car uh, between me and him. And I really do want to get rid of this car. I don't want it to blow up on me. Um, but I don't have a lot of choice right now. So I'm going to smoke up that direction again and just wait and listen. And now I'm having to use all my sensors, all the game sense that I can to try and get a shot. And I know that if I can get enough shots on target, I will be okay. And mostly, because it's TPP, people get really sweaty on Erangel and anywhere that there's grass, Sanok, and he'll be lying down. So what I'm doing is basically running from smoke to smoke, trying to listen to hear if I can he hear anyone moving about. 
And then I'm just going to strafe and boom. Uh, try and get headshots and just keep tapping him out. And here we go. Right here. There he is. He wasn't happy, I don't think. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember, great way to train. Get a hold of a uh, Deagle. Get a hold of a Colt 1911. Run around, set your kills up, and see if you can't make the magic happen. Please subscribe. Please follow uh, on Instagram at the Bushka. And uh, until next time, stay safe on the battlefield. Bye for now.